So what about social distances? People are supposed to stay at home, they don't go to the office, they don't go any events, they don't go anywhere. But there is one place we can all go and all of us living in California, I guess we can take advantage of it. We can go to the nature, we can go hiking. That's exactly what we're gonna do right now. up everyone and let's talk about ideas what can be done while we are all stuck at home or at least stuck, stuck somewhere and we're supposed to practice the social distancing what the heck should we do the number one thing you can actually do now when you are not allowed to go anywhere and you're supposed to keep a social distances you can go hike or just enjoy the nature. It's a great time to start hiking and start enjoying the nature and being more outdoors because that's what makes you healthy. What else you can do during this coronavirus outbreak? Take advantage of the fact that most people don't go to the office and kids are not in school. Just spend time with your family. Stop focusing on your careers, stop focusing on, I don't know, consumer shopping and other things and actually spend real time with people. I'm just thinking of myself having a great time with my family while I'm filming this and they're actually walking by themselves. Yeah, being a blogger sucks, but I guess somebody has to bring this message to you. If you're stuck in the house, take advantage of this time. If you can't go out, just look around your home, do some decluttering, sort through your things. KonMari method is one of the best. There are other methods too. Just think of things you don't really need. It's a great time. And besides doing the decluttering for physical things, it's also a great time when you're stuck at home to do digital decluttering. If I know I have to be in some closed space for a long time, I just go through my phone, I sort my photos, because lots of us, we have photos that we have taken, but especially from trips and never posted anywhere. So it's a time to sort your photos, files, clean your inbox, I don't know, whatever, whatever else you have. It's time to think of things that you were postponing for a long time. Some of people on my Instagram commented that they actually started like doing renovation in their house, the, the parts that you can do by themselves because they didn't have time for that. They were too busy working. So now both of them, the husband and the wife, they stuck at home. So they're doing the house renovation or at least prepping for it. Another great thing to do while we are stuck at homes and especially when most of the restaurants and bars are closed or will be closed soon, it's time to learn how to cook. If you go to YouTube, you can find all sorts of recipes, all sorts of people teaching you to cook, and you can even learn how to cook super complicated things. And by the way, there is another reason to learn how to cook. Eating homemade meals is so much more healthy. I see people in the supermarkets are just grabbing everything, like chips, like ramen cups, like... But those things are not exactly the healthiest thing to eat. And by eating not healthy, we don't really contribute well to our immune system so be healthy stay fit stay active and eat good foods that's going to help you fight the coronavirus another way what you can do you can think of all the things you wanted to learn drawing i don't know stitching meditating you wanted to always read that particular book or you always wanted to take that online course but you never had time to be at home and study take this advantage to learn new languages because the great thing about the fact that we are in 2020 that we can learn so many things online imagine being stuck at home i don't know 10 or 20 years ago that would be a bummer because you can't do much you can only watch tv but now you have access to so much stuff just take this time not to watch like mindlessly netflix or other things or just mindlessly watching news and getting more anxious take this time to learn something new maybe learn more about the environment protection and new eco-friendly habits so when the whole panic and the whole pandemic thing will be gone you learn new skills about protecting our environment
And the last thing you can do right now when you're stuck at home and you can go to your favorite bar or, I don't know, basketball game, take time for yourself. All of us were so busy running, doing our careers, following the wrong goals in our life, going for mindless shopping and do other things. Just take this time to slow down and think of your life. What have you achieved so far? What do you want to achieve next? What if you, I don't know, let me say it, let you, if you get sick and die next month, did you live the life that is worth dying? Like when people ask me like, aren't you afraid to get sick and you get it really bad and I don't know, you die? For some reason I'm not. I still want to live and I still have so many things to do in my life, but at the same time I had so much already happened in my life. I had so many great experiences, so I feel like it's not scary to die. It's not that I lived my life like saving, working hard and waiting until my retirement hits and I can finally live my life. No, I'm living my life to the full right now. So if it happens, it happens. I kind of look positive into it not happening to me and I'm obviously taking care of my health and doing basic precautions like washing my hands, staying away from people, like being really careful what I touch and what I touch after that. So, going back from negative talk to the positive talk, just take this time for yourself. If you really feel like stressed and anxious and panicking, and I know lots of people like that, think of starting to meditate. I know it sounds like a obvious advice, but there is a medical proof to the fact that if you meditate, so you like do a certain slow breath, it can be any type of breath work, even like hiking without your phone or music, just hiking you in the nature and just like, I don't know, counting your steps or anything can actually make you feel less anxious. Doing all the things I mentioned before, like spending time with your family, having like real conversation with your friends who are far so you can just talk on the phone for hours like people used to do years ago. Not really chatting, but actually talking, you know, like hiking, being in the nature, eating good food. That's all contributes to you feeling more peaceful and being less anxious and worried. So time to do that.